Hi everyone, Adrian from Studio 80 Design here to talk about my all-time favorite brush pen, the Tombow Fudanasuki. These brush pens now come in so many different colors. We have the original black, the twin tip black and gray. We have the full-blown rainbow set, uh, and then the neon. So I, today I'm gonna share a little bit about why I love these brush pens so much and what you can do with them. Let's get started. So here are all the brush pens laid out on my desk. I've unwrapped the black set and we'll talk about those first. So first up are the hard tip brush pen and the soft tip brush pen, two of my favorites. So the hard tip brush pen has a smaller brush tip and will give you more smaller and consistent lines. I actually prefer this brush pen for any beginners who are starting their lettering journey. Um, because it will stay firm and it won't wiggle as much. So you get more consistent lines. This brush pen has a dark blue casing to differentiate from the soft tip brush pen. And I love to use it for lettering and illustration. Because the point is so fine, you can also use this brush pen to stipple and you'll get really small dots that are great for adding those small details into your work. And now we have our soft tip brush pen. Uh, it has a larger, more flexible brush tip and will give you larger, thicker lines. Because the brush tip is larger, you will get more movement, which is sometimes harder to control, uh, which is why I actually suggest this as the second brush pen you use if you're a beginner. This brush pen is also great for lettering and illustration and because you get thicker lines, your lettering will stand out against noisier background. So I like to use this over patterns that I create and my lettering will really stand out. You can also stipple with the soft tip brush pen. You'll just get larger stippling. So it just depends on what effect you're looking for. This last brush pen is the Twin Tip Fudenosuke brush pen, and it has a black and a gray tip. I do find that this brush pen is more consistent with the soft tip brush pen. It will give you larger strokes and the nib is more flexible than the hard tip. I love that you get two brush pens in one in this brush pen. I like to use this pen for lettering. I use the black side to letter out my words and then I flip it over and use the gray side to add a shadow. Once again, I'll show you how you can stipple with it. It does give you those larger dots similar to those soft tip brush pen. And now moving on to the Fudanosuke colors. You get a full set of rainbow colors in here, including brown, gray, and black. These brush pens are all hard tips, so you get the smaller, more consistent lines with these brush pens. Last but not least, we have our neon palette. You get six gorgeous bright colors for all you neon lovers out there. I love using these in my journal or in my planner to highlight events or make notes of things coming up. These also have a hard tip brush pen nib. So now I wanna show you guys how I use the hard tip brush pen to create floral doodles and lettering. So I'm starting out by drawing three flowers and adding some vines with leaves on them. You can really get different line widths by just how you push down on your brush pen. Continue to add leaves and berries to really fill out those spaces in between those flowers. And then I like to go in with the very tip of my brush pen to add small details like the centers of the flowers and lines in the flowers.
So now I'm gonna draw similar florals on the bottom. I'm just gonna add one more flower in there to make it larger than the top. Again, making sure you fill in all those little spaces with berries and flowers and leaves. When I do lettering, I like to hold my brush pen right here in the kind of pocket of my thumb and then kind of hold my fingers around it so it really locks it in place. Now I'll be showing you some real-time lettering using the hard tip brush pen. I'm writing out hello spring, hello will be in a sans serif font, and spring will be in a modern calligraphy font. One of my favorite features about the Fudano Suki brush pens is that they are waterproof. And I love to pair them with the dual brush pens, which are water-based. So I'm just going to use several colors to color on top of my flowers. And as you can see, the color does not bleed or run together with a dual brush pen ink. Here is my finished Hello Spring floral border. Um, isn't it amazing what you can do with just this one little guy? So writing, lettering, illustration, drawing, this guy can do it all. So I hope you enjoyed um, this little video about my all-time favorite brush pen. And please follow Tombow USA and Studio 80 Design for more inspiration like this.